Okay, I'm at the last round of the weekly challenge. Um, yeah, and, and usually when I get here, I don't always get here. Um, it takes a lot of time <laughs> usually. But how about we give it a crack? Um, yeah, and we just see if we can finish these, see if we can finish these missions in a wanna. Obviously, this is the tippity top difficulty setting. There are some factors to consider. Good, good, good. The enemy, of course, are much, much tougher. Okay, I can't do that. And and there's there's some other factors as well. The types of walkers that you're going to be encountering are going to be different. Um, let's do this. Now, what I really want here is charge points for Mr. Mercer. The fact that these guys are stunned gives us some more options. Yeah, we can go for those. Uh, I think that the humans... Definitely the biggest potential problem here. I think if I shoot with Yumiko... Yeah, that human would have just died. So we're doing something that I'm always talking about, which is, is exploiting the AI. So when it comes to the humans, I, I mean, the decisions that, that the game makes for them are, are very rudimentary. It's a system that's designed to, you know, emulate walkers, not humans. And that very often shows. We're going to have to cripple you, otherwise you're going to get to Mr. Mercer. But what we were also doing there was exploiting the AI for the walkers. They were on the other side of the map. We hadn't woken them up. So they weren't coming for us. It means that you get to control the battlefield. You get to decide who you're attacking and when and how. And, and that's really how you win the, it's how you win the game. Okay. One mission down, five to go. All right, nice. Oof, that's a nasty looking melee weapon. We've just done back alley. Let's go back to the start, sweeping the cellar, kill all walkers. Now, one thing that I'm doing is because we're going to be a lot more up close and personal, Gonna have the hazard bulldozer. This is good at crippling, ensnaring, uh, pushing enemies back. It's got that widespread, much shorter range than decimator or or things like the champion assault rifle. But we start pretty darn up close and personal. Now we really need for Mercer to have full charge points because this guy is a potential problem. I think I've given him... Oh, no, I didn't. I thought I'd given him tactical armor. And my gamble there was that I was going to shoot with him and then use a tool, specifically a flare. Now, we need... We need a couple of things to happen here, really. Can we make them happen? Yes, we can. We are going all out. We are using a full-on, cookie-charged, super mega awesome charge attack. Got a problem here. I'm going to be recording these videos one mission at a time because there's just... There's a chance that things could go south. I don't want to be doing a video and then and then having to reset it, you know, to to get through it because it is tough. I mean, we're we're right at the very end of the challenge, you know. So it's kind of fair to say that you might have to give it a couple of goes um, when you're taking on these missions. But I'll do them one at a time. I'll see about editing them into a single video. I, 
you know, how, how has everyone else enjoyed this challenge? I think this has been one of the best challenges that we've had for quite a while. There's been some really interesting missions. Uh, the types of missions where you've got several different ways to achieve the objective. And it, it really feels like it's, you know, it's, it's strategy that's winning out. Now, I really wanted Mercer to get some charge points there. Definitely wanted you to be slowed down. So we use dog. Nice charge attack for what it matters. I, I didn't notice actually that I'd, uh, I'd, I'd kept Sasha with the burnout rifle. I actually would have given her the Harrier so that she can uh, cripple targets. Uh, that's a slight mistake on my behalf. It's, it's worked. It's not like the burnout rifle is ever going to be a bad weapon. Except perhaps on missions where you have a very limited spaced play in. This is definitely a small map. We're not really getting to leverage the advantage of the burnout rifle, but uh, I mean, we still we still got to get some targets on fire, nice and early, and that worked for us. And there you go, battling in the basement amongst washing machines, we are victorious. I love those XP totals as well. When you get to the end. You definitely get some good rewards, some good XP. And there's a lot of fun playing the missions at this level as well. What do we got left? Oh, yes. You know what? I'm just going straight for it. Now, I'm going to use a different tool. It is the Commonwealth Obliterator. Something that I found myself using quite frequently of late. I think this was a premium survival pass weapon, if I recall. And this time I am very well aware that I have the um, burnout rifle. Sorry, I can hear my cat squawking outside. Let me just go and let her in. Just pause the video there for a second. Hey, Io. Oops, I uh, moved. Uh, distracting me. Moved Mercer instead of Yumiko. Okay, it's not a problem. This is one of those ones where we're getting to use the fact that we're human to great advantage. We we're just outranging everything. You do have some strategies, some tactics that you can use, whereby you can you can rope a dope them, you can lead them around the outside of the map, and then you are literally fighting through the wire. It's like they thought about the name or something. Um, but we've we've got the firepower to hand where we can just cut these guys down, basically. Let's use a super duper mega charge attack. Great way of getting Commonwealth walkers hurt. Hey, there we go. Got the Commonwealth. He's going to burn. Okay, not a tricky mission, even if they chuck in Commonwealth spikies, all that jazz. Okay, let's do a few more. Time for Dead's End. We're using 7 mil Harrier there for Sasha. We're keeping, yeah, the Hazard Shotgun for Mr. Mercer, because we're, uh, we're gonna be a bit more up close and personal than we were with Through the Wire. Right, so, this one, there are a few instances where sheer blind luck is a factor in this game. This, however, 
It's one of those instances. What we're going to do is we're going to trust that our defensive shooting is going to is going to stymie the attack of that tank. It did. We're going to use a super duper mega charge attack to try to clear a little room for ourselves. And it might seem surprising to use our nuclear options so early on. But we've got to buy ourselves some space. Now we've got trouble here because the chances of us crippling him are low. Mm. Really would have liked for Mr. Mercer to have got a charge point there. Guess he didn't fancy it. And yeah, we're going we're going all out. We're using that charge attack. We've got to clear this space really. Let's do this. Make sure that Mercer's getting an attack in as well. I'm trusting that these guys are gonna burn to death. They do. Good. Good. Now, um, I was formulating a couple of plans. I was, I was maybe assuming that we couldn't guarantee that we would stun, cripple, do really anything to that Commonwealth Walker, but we, uh, we got him. We got him. And this is why having Mercer on the team is so darned important. The fact that he can inflict so much harm against very, very tough walker types that you otherwise, you know, your shots would be bouncing off of them. Because of his leadership trait, he can just lay the hurt like he doesn't even care. And when you're coming to Commonwealth walkers, you've got to be able to hurt them very, very quickly. Because otherwise status effects just don't take any effect, basically. The lower their health is, the more chance that they're going to get crippled, set on fire, whatever it is that you want to do to them. So you need to get their health down uh, before you start hitting them with... Hmm, that was weird. It's like graf gra graphical glitch there. Yeah, so you need to start hitting Commonwealth Walkers with whatever you've got that's going to cause a lot of damage regardless of their their armored status things like grenades things like mercer's mana arm skill and then you can then you can start you know inflicting whatever you need to keep them at bay and start really really hurting them nothing causes more damage than a cookie charged uh, charge attack from mercer so we've got the archives and in the compound Okay, the archives, kill all walkers. Uh, we're going to be up close and personal. We're going to keep the same loadout. You can see that 7mm Harrier, hazard shotgun, saviour's handgun. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're up close and personal. Really are. Um, we want Mercer fully charged. Mercer fully, he is. Great, so we've got we've got some walkers stunned, we've got some rooted, we've got plenty of people on fire. This is looking good, but even though this is, you know, a somewhat more predictable mission, it's, you know, you, you never know what's going to happen turn to turn and you can still get surprised. What we do have working in our advantage here is that this is a very much a target rich environment. Lots of walkers very close together. So when you are using Sasha as your leader, it's a good thing. You want to be hitting a lot of targets all at once. Can actually be a bit of a problem when you kill things. Because you want all of your guys to be firing turn after turn. And getting those body shots. Now I'm not going to use Mercer's charge attack. There's just... There's not really any value to doing it, so... This one 
is one of those missions that's just short and sweet. There is a chance that there is still maybe a walker lurking somewhere, but for the most part, you've got very, very good visibility. It's one of those single screen maps. Doesn't look like anything was hiding. We got one more to go and then we will have completed the weekly challenge. What's left in the compound? All right, one more left in the compound. Now this one can be really tricky. I'm swapping out Mercer's weapon for the decimator. Um, I think that that feels a little bit better on this particular mission. Good. Now something that does matter is where all of the walkers start and you know I'm not saying that this is going to be no challenge whatsoever but we we got a pretty good start there I would say. Now I don't want to get any closer because we might not kill those spikies, we didn't. And they are still going to be able to move, very very difficult to immobilize that particular walker class. They're the most urgent threat, so let's give them all of the love. And you may have noticed that my star total is not as high as it possibly could be. And that's because Jesus was the weekly hero, and I wasn't I wasn't massively enjoying using him. So as soon as I was uh, uh, potentially, you know, having to have a couple of goes at a mission, I just ditched him. Because this is a game. I wasn't I wasn't really having fun using him, so just yeah. Pick somebody else who's a bit more competitive. Um I also I struggled on one of the missions. I think I gave it two goes and I was still you know not quite getting there. I had to just complete it with two stars. Again, it's it's a it's a game, you're supposed to enjoy it. So rather than just sort of sit there bashing my head against the wall, struggling to get through this mission, I was just like, all right, okay, fine, two stars, sure. Um, and also your score is affected by how many stars you got in the previous challenge. So I can't remember where I got, I, th I, I think it was over 3,000, but I certainly didn't complete the last challenge. So you'll see people with higher scores. You might actually wonder sometimes how they do it. There is some maths to it and there is some logic um, for me, I think I've always said that this, to me, is a lot of things. You know, Walking Dead, No Man's Land. Uh, the main thing it is to me is a game. And I play it in a way that I'm going to enjoy it. I don't know life it. I don't, you know, do anything like that. But anyway, I, I think that we've done rather well for this weekly challenge. I hope that you and your guild have done well because this has been this has been a really really fun weekly challenge i've loved doing it oh thank you game all right i mean for for 15 gold yeah we're gonna take that all the dog darn day look at that Mwah. beautiful what a great way to finish off the weekly challenge and completion bonus such a beautiful sight. I don't always go for completing the weekly challenge. It's got to be a fun one. It's got to be missions that are quick, tactical. And in this case, yeah, we got it. Glad I could share that with you. And as ever, thank you very much for watching.